welcome students in today's session we will be studying about political science chapter 4 and the name of the chapter is growing up as boys and girls introduction being a boy or a girl is an important part of one's identity the society we grow up in teaches us what kind of behavior is acceptable for girls and boys what boys and girls can or cannot do means in the society where we grow uh, uh, teaches us teaches us what kind of behavior uh, is uh, most probably the girls they do or they follow or the boys they they should uh, follow etc we often grow up thinking that these things are exactly the same everywhere everywhere in the society the kind of behavior uh, of boys and girls which is uh, which is most probably finalized by the society and uh, we often think that this kind of uh, thinkings are same everywhere but do all societies looks at boys and girls in the same way no all societies not look boys and girls in the same way you also know how the different roles assigned to boys and girls prepare them for their future role as men and women society is uh, preparing to the boys and girls for their future role as uh, they have to play the role uh, in uh, men uh, and women category so society uh, from their childhood days onwards preparing them for their future role we will also learn how inequalities between men and women emerge in the area of work also we can see inequalities between men and women um, uh, emerge in the area of work in the in the form of salary uh, as well as working hours in that manner the societies in which we grow up teach us about what kind of behavior which is acceptable for girls and boys especially to the girls most probably families they uh, uh, keep involving girls in household chores as well as boys uh, they used to say that boys they uh, do not cry uh, as well as boys they have to take care uh, they have to earn for family etc societies also teaches what boys and girls can or cannot do also society teaches what kind of behavior or what boys should boys can do or cannot do or girls can do or cannot do now uh, some of the case studies we will study with the help of these case study we come to know that what type of uh, what type of uh, means all societies do all societies things that um, the boys and girls what they should do or what they should not do in the uh, growing up in samoa in the 1920s actually samoa it is a it is an island small island in pacific ocean southern part of pacific ocean in the 1920s means in the year 1920s according to research report on samoan society children they did not go to school most probably these children they were they were not going to school then what these children they were doing so these children they were doing household chores household activities at smaller age they learned things such as how to take care of children or to do household work from older children and from adults these island people most probably they used to do fishing and related activities okay then the smaller children they were uh, they were learning how to take care of small children and how to do the household chores and remaining adults they were going to do the uh, they were going um, outdoor for the work purpose both boys and girls used to do household work both boys and uh, girls when they were smaller that time they used to do the household work growing up male in madhya pradesh 
the 1960s in the year 1960s male and a uh, female is girls and boys while growing up their condition from class 6th onwards in madhya pradesh from class 6th onwards boys and girls went to separate schools means boys schools were different and girls schools were different girls school had a central courtyard where the where they played in total seclusion and safety from the outside world world means girls school building uh, such a way constructed that their play play uh, area or uh, in the central uh, of their school central part their play area uh, were reserved and uh, reserved and they were used to play in that only place means it is a uh, it is like a safety from the outs- outside world to those girls the boy school had no such type of courtyard and their playground was just a big space attached to the schools see boys playgrounds were attached to the school very big and uh, no such a kind of uh, courtyard which is uh, which is situated a uh, central part of the school means a uh, boys boys uh, playgrounds were open very big and attached to the school the girls always went in groups because they also carried fears of being teased or attack is girls while moving from school to home or home to school they always move in groups because there were fear in, uh, in that uh, such a type of uh, teasing or attacking by the male members from the society after reading the above two stories you will realize that there were many different ways of raising children means uh, we studied the story about samoa islands and about madhya pradesh also you would have also analyzed that societies make clear distinctions between boys and girls society is making clear distinctions we can uh, see uh, with the help of this construction of school uh, school buildings as well as uh, movements about related to boys and the girls how uh, different uh, how in the different manner so society teaches to the boys and girls differently now we will move towards the next very important point that is valuing household housework the main responsibility for housework and care giving task such as looking after the family lies with the woman valuing housework in this point what we are going to study housework which is important or not housework means cooking food uh, washing utensils washing clothes swear sweeping the floor etc so these uh, these main responsibilities which is lies with the women and most probably society considered that household work which is not having any value yet the work that women do within the home is not recognized as work much kind of work which is related to the house such as the family members when they fall ill that time uh, that time also means everything whatever related to that person uh, responsibilities lying on the woman shoulder then to the household work which is not recognized as a work it is also assumed that this work comes naturally to women it is also considered means assumed that the household work which is uh, which is lies with the women and women only should do that work that is women's responsibility and naturally uh, this work comes to the women such a kind of uh, uh, assumptions which society society follow therefore women do not get paid for housework and society devalues this work that's why women even though uh, from morning to late night they used to do the household work but without any any payment they did not get or they do not get paid for the household work and society also devaluing this work 
now lives of domestic workers domestic workers the workers who do the work in the houses or the families taking care as well as uh, different types of task which is related to household chores housework involves many different task a number of these task require heavy physical work in both rural and urban areas means this uh, housework 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 which is heavy and physical work require and that such a kind of work which is devalued uh, or devaluing by the society women and girls uh, such as um, housework work in this uh, we can see here fetching the water as well as um, fire uh, fire wood then taking care of uh children then uh, taking care of sick and elderly people uh, or member in family we used to say women and girl fetch water carry heavy loads of firewood perform task like washing clothes cleaning sweeping and picking up loads required bending lifting and carrying so this all type of housework which require heavy and physical work but then to this work is not value uh, not having any value by the society the work women do is hard and physically demanding it's very time consuming also means our mother suppose your mother um, mother start working from morning to late night but then to the work which is a uh, demanding physical demanding which is never ending work which is consuming lot of time but then too is not having any value by the society means society is not ready to give any kind of value or any kind of um, any kind of uh, financial financial value to such a kind of work if you add up the housework and the work women do outside the home you find that women spend much more time working than men and have much less time for themselves men also do the work which is outside but for that work purpose particular or time limitation is there but women they do the work in house means housework there is a no any time limitation which is uh, which takes lot of time lot of time compared to the men work women's work and equality equality is an important principle of the indian constitution in indian constitution clearly many articles which is regarding uh, or which suggest about the equality so which says that there should not be any discrimination based on sex is based on male or female there should you know, there should not be any discrimination but in reality inequality between the sexes exist male or female their working areas their working condition their working allowances are not equal at all therefore it has to be dealt not just at the individual level or the family but also by the government means such a type of means inequality we can find not in the family but also by the government in the government officials or in the by the government also we can find such a type of inequality is exist some of the actions taken by the government are as below to promote equality among the uh, society that's why government taken some of the actions it has promoted girl education most probably education uh, criteria in uh, equality in the education in the field of equi- uh, education government ta- promoted girls especially go- that's why government imposed uh, government planned many schemes at all uh, to promote girls in the field of education the government had set up anganwadis or child care centers in several villages in the countries 
ਅੰਗਨਵਾੜੀਜ਼ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਵੇਲੇਬਲ ਇਨ ਏਵਰੀ ਵਿਲੇਜ ਇਨ ਏਵਰੀ ਵਿਲੇਜ ਵਾਰਡਸ ਟੂ for the uh, for several uh, villages in the country and with this uh, with this this uh, children uh, or actually most probably the government has uh, realized the burden of child care as well as household work on the women that's why government set up anganwadis also government's intention that the women they can also work outside they can come outside and work that's why also government has set up anganwadis to promote girls education etc the government has passed laws that make it mandatory for organizations that have more than 30 women employees to provide crèche facility government uh, passed the law that is the women they are they uh, their responsibility to take care of their children uh, that's why government made laws passed laws that uh, mandatory uh, action uh, mandatory for the organizations various institutions that in uh, such institutions where more than 30 women employees uh, employees will be there then uh, those institutions should provide crèche facility crèche facility means child care uh, child care uh, uh, center or like a um, like a availability where children they can uh, they can handled by the any other care giving uh, any other women uh, which uh, were due to that the women work women they can work with dignity and uh, women they can continue their job here government many various plan or schemes uh, which government um, organized for the girl education as well as crèche facility where more than 30 women working in the institution a crèche is a facility which enables parents to leave their children while they are at work and where children are provided with a stimulating environment for their holistic development means such a place such a such a area where these children handled by someone and with that women they can work outside from this chapter some of the activities read the story board about harmit's mother in the chapter there is a story board comic uh, form so um, you have to read that story board about harmit's mother and then you have to finalize that the val- valuing housework uh, as well as read the story about melani melani was a domestic worker domestic household um, domestic worker which uh, does the activities uh, such as um, uh, housework various chores then to melani uh, not getting enough enough wages i hope you understood the chapter with this we we will conclude the session